Alrighty, this is Kevin Gamertag Magil. I'm bringing you more of my Stuntman Ignition Let's Play. So we're going to start with these odd jobs. Like I said before, I'm going to go here to Stunt City Fire. Alright, I looked through my uh, old save, and I do indeed have a couple of stringed together ones. Uh, some of the later ones I'm pretty sad on because there's some stunts I never managed to get underhand or in. In ha well in hand to do, namely popping my car up on two wheels. So that one really kills me in the James Bond one, but that one's even in the uh, original version of this game, the uh, popping shit up on two wheels was tough for me. So here in this one, you're seeing a lot of the action button being used. Holy shit, that was awful. I don't know where I'm going. Which is just the Y button, which confused me for a long time as I assumed it'd be A, since really none of the buttons do anything for you except for B. So here with the motorcycle, to keep any streak going, you can just pop a wheelie by holding back and then hitting that down. Which lets me uh, keep things going and keep the streak going so I'm keeping it alive for a while, as does the uh, wheelie. Let's me just keep things going. So, there we go. That's uh, pretty good right there. Not bad at all. I'm pretty sure I just strung that one together. So, that's started off a little bit better than the last one I just did. So, that's good. <laughs> and the announcer is super excited for that run. Boom. Good. I was really worried I wasn't going to be able to pull one of these off while doing the let's play and I was going to have to sit on one of these levels and just bang it out until I got one so I could show you guys that I'm actually good at this game instead of the kind of not so good way it started last time. Which is funny because those two missions I did the f in the last one were... One of those was the first one I ever strung together and they're both two that I've strung together before so I don't know why they're giving me such trouble. But the motorcycles do have that advantage of being able to just pop a wheelie whenever you want to help keep that string growing, which is how I managed to do that one, or else I definitely would have lost it. And it's a little bit easier in these uh, commercial ones, they're just the stunt ones, because they don't last anywhere near as long as so there's not as much stuff you have to pull off. But it also makes it a little bit difficult because you don't have all the cool shit going on, or you don't have as much stuff to go near and try and make the thing look cool. So this commercial is for the Night Avenger, the Batman movie, and I've got to outdrive the Batmobile, which is very similar to what it is in the uh, new Batman movies, the tank instead of just the, ah, uh, uh, fuck, uh, just, you know, the cool looking car shit in there. I missed a gap, because, oh, that's right, in these ones I can't mess up as often, because there's less to do. So I've got to nail this one fast and right away, which is a little tough because sometimes it doesn't really let you know where you should be going for. Here I'm kind of staying close to the right. Oh man, fucker. I messed it up again anyways. But just to try and keep near that like mailbox that helps get the string going in case I can five star it. Make it look good. Here at the beginning it's really easy. There's lots of cars to get close to to help give you early bonuses. I got that. What? Fuck you. I was close. So I always kind of have trouble with those close ones because I'm a little far away as I never really realize how close they want me to get. And uh, it's just something you've got to get down. It was a little rough early on. It's a problem with this Let's Play. I probably should have played a little bit... Oh, fucker. I should have played a little bit of this beforehand to get a little bit more warmed up than I did, but I think it'll be interesting to see how much better I get at the game while playing fucking shit. Okay, so that was a bad start because I just ran right into that guy's backside and fucked myself for the entire run. Clearly I'm not doing so well, not swearing as much while playing the game, but hopefully it doesn't get too bad that it's no longer amusing. So I'm doing a little bit better, hopefully nothing, oh fucker! Nothing uh, that's coming up is going to surprise me so much that I can't finish this shit. What the fuck just happened there? 
Oh, that's what I was supposed to do. Shit! So close to stringing that one together. That was weird, it just paused, it took forever to finish that one out. Next, you'll stunt for Otis Four stars, so I'm doing much better than I did the last couple of games, so that's good. He's, uh, unlock that cool car for free ones. Weird. So it's a lot, uh, lot easier in these commercials than it is to do the actual movie scenes. So now we're gonna go back to one of the movie scenes and see if I can keep up doing good in this game. And we get another motorcycle one. The last three are all driving more like the Dukes of Hazard cars, so that's pretty cool, but these motorcycles are fun just because they give you the wheelie that helps you get the cheap string together, but you know, the game gives you that tool. You gotta try and use it. In general, this is my favorite movie. I like the goofiness of it and the cool shit you have to do. The game characters have the best uh, banter going on in this one because it's all like the jackass crew, which is kind of who did the did the movie and kind of what they were pattering it after. So it's it's fun. They're just being silly and goofy. Um, a lot of the directors are funny. There's like the uh, serious dir shit. Serious director is doing an action movie and he's kind of pretentious and doofy. God damn it. And it's really fun to hit listen to. Uh, also in this game, I'm not, I think last time I had the uh, game volume too low, but there's like a stunt guy telling you everything that you're supposed to do. And it's, he's just running through you and he only gives you a slightly better notice than what the uh, game indicators do. So it's just, it's really not that helpful. See there, that yellow box is way up. What the fuck? I would talk about, oh man, I am not driving my motorcycle well right now. And the motorcycles are probably one of the toughest ones because they're not... They do give you the benefit of being able to, uh... Fucking Christ. Wheelie. So you can string them together, but then you get knocked off a lot easier, whereas if you're in a car, you can kind of recover from driving mistakes, which you can't really do with the motorcycle as much because you get kicked off like I've done in the past like five times. So here he's telling me hard left though it's not a drift turn but I throw the drift to help get the string going. What was I supposed to do with that guy? I can't even tell. Oh well. So hopefully I can keep this run going fairly well now. Yeah, see there, I took too long on that turn, so that gap disappeared, but I still get to jump the lake. Every once in a while when you're doing the jump ones, you'll take a weird one. You just won't hit it right, even though you hit the jump as straight on as you can. Ah, fuck. There, the green wasn't quite in, a, in my eyeline enough for me to realize what I was supposed to do right there. Oh, that's right, I'm fucking up a parade in this one. Oh, fuck you, car. It was going so well. Not really, but I mean, I had to knock myself off for a while. There I just stopped because of the car instead of taking that drift turn like they wanted me to. But as I said last time, like, this can be a really frustrating game, but it's just... Oh, there I hit that guy. I understand there. It's so satisfying when you pull something off really well. Like, getting that five-star string together on that one. The uh, Stunt City Fire one, which I hadn't done before. Shit. It just, you know, it's a really good feeling. Hopefully I can finish this fucking scene up fairly quickly so this doesn't last for forever for the few people who are watching. Oh, motherfucker, so far off course. Ooh, there I pulled it off though anyways, so well, that's good. Oh man, what is going on with my driving? I should have gone back to those commercial ones and stayed there for a while. I was doing much better there. I think I'm also trying a little too hard sometimes to do really good instead of just getting things done. I can probably just stop pulling these wheelies okay, and just, you know, do what I'm supposed to do instead of trying to string every one of these scenes together to get the five stars and look really impressive. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stop doing the wheelies. I kind of keep wanting to do them to try and try and get the string just because it feels so good to do. So right now I've got a pretty nice streak going on, so hopefully I can keep that going. It's easier every time you do it because you kind of have a better idea of shit, what's going on. Oh, thank god I went any Oh, shit. Now I just went way the fuck off shot because that green arrow wasn't in my way, but I'm going to have to stop it right here and pick up trying to do this scene again when I come back.